What's going on, guys? So most of you that watch my videos understand that my personal style leans pretty casual to a smart casual, but I do dress it up from time to time, of course. But for the most part, I like being comfortable, but also fairly put together. And I think that most guys in this age bracket kind of want the same things, right? Casual, comfortable, and polished. So today we're gonna talk about how to achieve that by illustrating several different ways you can dress up your jeans. Stick with me because it's all coming right up. Okay, welcome back to my channel. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. If you are new here, once again, welcome. And really quick, I'm John. And on this channel, we cover topics that surround men's lifestyle for grownups twice a week. So if that's something you can get on board with, please consider subscribing and let me know where you're from down in the comments. All right, we can't really talk about dressing up denim without first at least talking about the denim itself and making sure that we understand what denim looks the best. So in my opinion, if you're going for an elevated casual look, a darker wash pair of jeans like this with minimal distressing is going to look the best. The lighter the wash, the more casual the jeans are. And of course, the more distressed the denim is, the more casual it is, right? And I kind of compare it to something like sweatpants, okay? And here's what I mean. Imagine a scale that goes from sweatpants all the way up to dark denim. And I'm guessing anyway, that you wouldn't run around with Oxfords and a necktie wearing a pair of sweatpants. So because it's a lot harder to dress up something that casual, the question becomes, at what point along that scale is that possible? And here's my take on it. So in terms of blue jeans, consider that the lighter the color is, the closer to sweatpants they are on that scale. And the same thing goes for distressing. The more rips and whiskering, the more casual they are. And as you move up the scale towards solid dark blue, the dressier we get and the more appropriate we get in terms of the ability to dress them up, especially once you reach 40 and beyond. Now, I do want to acknowledge that denim comes in all the colors of the rainbow, and there's more options of dressing up all of those colors than I have time for in this video, obviously. I also want to acknowledge that lighter wash blue jeans can look pretty darn cool with boots, if you're going for that rugged look. However, for this video, we're just gonna stick with blue jeans for some inspiration, leaning more towards smart casual. And with that, let's keep it moving. All right, I will cover shirts and top layers in just a minute, but let's talk about shoes first. And once again, there's a lot of options out there, so I'm just gonna cover a few of my own personal favorites, Oxfords, Derbies, Chelsea boots, and loafers. So these brown Oxfords are my go-to when it comes to dressing up jeans. So these are the Allen Edmonds strand model, and I've had these for like six or seven years now. They might need a polish, but they're still beautiful. They're still comfortable, and they're still incredibly versatile. You could wear these with a suit all the way down to jeans. The same thing goes for these wingtip derbies from Ace Marks. Now they're very similar to the Allen Edmonds, but because they're a derby, they're even more casual. But really quick though, just to cover the difference between the Oxford and the derby so we're clear, the Oxford uses closed laces, right? Meaning that the flaps with the lace holes are sewn closed right here at the bottom. The Derby has flaps completely open at the bottom and you can stick your finger right up through here. And that small difference will always make the Derby more casual than the Oxford. A couple other things to consider here, the fit of your jeans and the color of your shoes. You want your jeans to fit well without being too loose and baggy and also not too long. And you really want to avoid excess break and puddling down towards your shoes because it looks very sloppy and it looks like your pants are trying to swallow up your shoes. I mean, if you made the effort to wear nice shoes, we should be able to see them, right? The other thing to consider is the color. Now, brown is always gonna be very versatile, especially with denim because they're complementing colors on the color wheel. I've talked about the color wheel before in some other videos, but if you wanna go check out the interactive color wheel on Canva, I'll link to it down below in the description so you can go check it out. I would suggest that you avoid wearing black shoes with jeans altogether. Black is just way too formal to wear with jeans, even with a derby, but boots, now that's another story because boots are inherently more casual anyway, but if you're going with a standard shoe, your best bet is gonna be medium brown. Next, let's talk about your upper half, starting with shirts. Now, since the goal was to dress up your jeans, we'll talk about shirts that are tucked in. Now, yes, you can look pretty cool with your shirt untucked, but at least for the sake of this video, gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and tuck that shirt in. And we're also gonna make sure it's ironed and pressed. One of the things that has always bugged me about dress shirts is when 
I have the top two buttons open, the placket flops over and looks super sloppy. That is very annoying in my opinion, but the good news is today's video sponsor, Slit Collar, has a very simple 10 second solution. Ever since I got mine, I've been wearing it literally all the time. And the best part is nobody even knows it's there. And the really funny thing is, and I've told this story before, but I was out to dinner with some friends of mine some time ago, and we started talking about custom shirts and we got on the topic of collars. I asked my buddy Brian, who was sitting across from me, how his collar looked so good. He flipped up his collar and whipped one of these things out, completely blew me away because I didn't even realize he'd been using one. Right then and there, I was totally convinced. It instantly fixes your sloppy collar like you just saw, and it does it in a way that still looks very natural, not overly stiff and artificial. Once it's on, you completely forget about it because after just a few seconds, you can't even feel it. Also, it's not visible whatsoever. And the best part is, you don't have to take all your shirts to a tailor or modify anything to get these to work. You buy it once and swap it from shirt to shirt. You get the standard one, as well as a slim version for low profile collars, and they're adjustable to fit all sorts of different neck sizes and collar sizes. I can't stand this, I gotta put it back on. Let me show you. Okay, we'll get a before and after. So right now I'm not wearing it. Placket is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. All you do is once you get it sized to your neck, pop your collar, wrap it around your neck, pop your collar right back down, a little fine tuning, my friend, and you are in business. That is the difference. Just like that, your placket is nice and straight. These are very flexible and these silicone pads keep it from sliding around. They've got amazing customer service. They provided no nonsense, no questions asked, 100% satisfaction money back guarantee. They also offer free fast shipping across the US and discounted international shipping. I'm gonna put a special link with a special discount code down below in the description. And I really do encourage you to go check them out and pick one up for yourself. So with dress shirts, I might suggest choosing something that has some type of pattern to it. I mean, plain white and plain blue will always look terrific, but a small stripe or a small check pattern that reads slightly more casual fits in a little bit better, especially with the more casual look and feel of jeans. Now it doesn't have to be anything super crazy, but a small tight pattern does tend to read a little more dressy than a larger pattern or a big print. If the weather gets a little cold, layering with the sweater is another fantastic option. It'll keep you warm and also add some additional depth and texture. If the weather is cold where you are, you might also wanna consider another top layer in the form of a sports jacket. Now this is where it can get really fun because you can mess around with pattern a little bit more. So instead of a solid blue or solid gray sports jacket that would still look great, go for something with a little more pattern to avoid looking too plain. Remember, you're wearing jeans, not suit trousers, so use that to your advantage. The perfect time to incorporate a jacket like this is when you're wearing jeans because it just makes so much more sense and you'll look amazing. And lastly, on my list of how you can dress up your jeans is with accessories. Now, because we're tucking in our shirt, we probably need a belt. And the same basic rules apply with suiting. Closely match your belt to your shoes. That means if you're wearing brown shoes, wear a brown belt, not black. Also wear a watch with either a leather strap or a steel bracelet like this, not a NATO strap, right? NATO straps are great when you're trying to be a little more casual, but when you wanna dress things up a little bit, swap it out for something a little bit nicer. And with socks, try to match them up to the general color of your pants and avoid those crazy patterns and cartoon designs. I mean, I'm okay with some pattern, but those wacky socks are just a little bit tacky in my opinion. And if you're wearing a jacket, wear a pocket square that coordinates color with something else that you're wearing. And if you need help with that, refer back to that color wheel that I linked down below to make sure it's a complementing or triadic color. All right, real quick, if you made it this far, please hit the thumbs up button to let me know. And if you're not yet a subscriber with your notifications turned on, please consider doing that right now because like I said before, I'm here twice a week with brand new videos that surround men's lifestyle topics for grownups. That means I'll see you in just a few days for another brand new video. But until then, my friends, live well, and I do hope to see you again very soon.